Welcome back everybody. I'm Dave Hayes and this is Hayes Tech. On my last video I did a video or two on the XTU X1 action camera and again I want to make sure that everybody's aware these products that I'm reviewing from XTU was sent to me uh, by XTU free of charge for me to do videos on. So with that said I want to talk about the XTU J6 and this is their smart home video doorbell and this thing sends the video to your phone wirelessly all right and when we come back we are going to go ahead and jump into unboxing this setting it up and seeing how well this thing looks oh and did I mention this shoots in 2k <laughs> that's gonna be awesome so let's go ahead and get into this And as always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. That way you get a notification of my videos as soon as I release them. Alright, now just like I did for the unboxing of the XTU X1 action camera, I have a camera set overhead so you all can see the product. And we're just going to go ahead and jump into unboxing this. So this is the box that it comes in right here. Again, this is a doorbell slash door camera so whenever somebody hits the doorbell you can see who it is and you can even record it if you want and again this records in 2k so it's 100% wire free it says place it anywhere no cords or wiring harnesses 2k FHD video quality built-in long-lasting rechargeable 1000 milliamp lithium battery advanced PIR motion detection and night vision detecting distances up to 10 meters all right or 33 feet it has a 166 degree wide viewing angle supports two-way audio communication so basically you can communicate with the person that is ringing your doorbell which that is pretty cool it has a free app and again you have to have the app in order to uh, to use this flexible powering built in rechargeable batteries or you can actually run it off of your doorbell if you have a doorbell already in place uh, at your place of residence wherever you're living at so with me getting the reading out of the way what do you say we go ahead and unbox this we are basically gonna I think slide it out slide that off <laughs> and that just pops off there okay so this is a sticker you can put on your door or window right next to the doorbell or wherever letting everybody know that you have the 24 7 monitoring by XTU that's pretty cool again lifetime unconditional warranty okay this is their quick start guide so uh, we will definitely be using this this is the speaker that goes inside your house. These are the batteries that goes with it. Sorry about banging that in your ears, guys. Um, my guess is this is going to be the tools. We'll set that off to the side. And next I'm going to go ahead and get this out. Okay, this is the camera. And there's some... Uh, no, I was wrong. This is not the tools. Here's the tools. So again, they supply you with a screwdriver and a kind of like a hex head Allen key. So we're going to get those out and I'll set them all out here. Let you all see what comes in the package. All right, we're going to get that out of the way. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, this table my wife got me is so nice. Uh, you guys have seen it in the last couple of videos. It just makes it so much nicer. For me to do videos i don't have to worry about knocking my table down you know because before it was just a piece of plywood sitting on top of some empty boxes video is great like that i mean the illusion of things being real you know it's, it's so cool in the box here is basically your wiring and all of the screws and wall anchors wire nuts and wiring that you're going to need so there you go guys that is what comes in the box. They have this 
covered with uh, clear plastic, so we're going to go ahead and peel that off. Okay. So all right, so what I figured I would do is show you all just the basics. I'm not going to show you how to do everything on this because there are plenty of videos out there showing that. I mean, it's not that hard. You basically have to take the base, attach it to the wall, 48 inches up. The camera unit snaps into this. When the camera unit snaps in, you screw down the uh, locking screw here, which is captured. You can't lose that. Or it takes that like star-shaped Allen wrench and tighten it down. It's ready to go. On a full charge, it'll last for several days. So it might even go longer than that. And remember, if, even if you're using your app to view what you're looking at, it doesn't record until something breaks the beam and actually turns it on. It's activated by the beam of the camera. The camera's looking, it's, it's sending out a, say, a beam. When you break that beam, it automatically starts to record. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the wall. All right, 48 inches. I'm just gonna put a little mark here in the wall so I know about where it's at. It's basically a quarter inch up from that rib, so it should be pretty easy. For me to remember, I'm going to mark some holes and pre-drill. Okay, I've got my marks. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill a couple small holes through my vinyl siding. Change this to screw mode. And you do not want to over tighten these. Good. Now, that is on there, very secure. Now, I've already synced this with uh, my phone and the app, and so I'm pretty much ready to go with this. Again, I'm not gonna show you every step to this. I'm basically showing you the product and showing you how it works. There are many videos out, very good videos, showing you how to install this, okay? But again, follow the instructions that they give you and they and the instruction manual they give you is pretty dang good so basically this hook on the back just kind of goes up and in and that's it and again just snug it up it's it's on there it's secure Okay, so it's that simple to put it on. And again, I'm not gonna show you every single step in this. There are plenty of other videos out there showing that, which in my opinion show a very good installation process, but doesn't give you guys a very good review of the product. And what I am here to do is give you my opinion of the product and to show it to you, not to show you how to install it. But you just saw me do it, it's that simple. All right, let's go in and try this thing out. All right, here you go. This is what it would look like. Somebody would come up, ring the doorbell. Voila, I showed you what it looks like in night vision just prior to this. So this is in 2K, okay? I do have it set up for 2K version. And remember, this only records if you hit the record button on your app or this senses motion. And once it senses motion, it clicks on and starts recording. Now I do have the night vision mode set to automatic. So as soon as it gets dark out here, it will switch to night vision mode. So there you go. This is what the quality looks like. What do you think? All right, let's go ahead and finish this video out. As mentioned, it does shoot in 2K, but it also shoots in 1080p. So you do not have to shoot in 2K if you don't want. If you want smaller video files, then choose you know 1080p. The frame rates are very slow on that, you know, like you get 1080p 30 frames per second, 1080p 60 frames per second, so on and so on. This shoots in 24 frames per second, so just be aware of that. Now, that included ringer box. There are three buttons on top. One button is to change the ringers. The other button is to change the volume of the rings, 
and of course the other one is to factory reset it or you know get it back to where you first got it when you first purchased it all right now one thing I did want to mention that I didn't bring up earlier in the video when I was talking about it was the recording lengths okay now it recorded when I was using it in 10 second intervals but you can change that they have 10 second intervals 20 second intervals and 30 second intervals all right so meaning if something trips the sensor and it starts to record it'll record for as long as you have that set for now in the video I had it set for 10 seconds and for just doing demonstration purposes I figured that was good but I did want to bring up that if you want to save space in your memory card or battery big time battery especially if you're recording in 2k yeah keep it at 10 seconds because if you go to 20 or 30 seconds you're going to start getting some huge video files and if you're shooting in 2k you're gonna burn up battery quite a bit now speaking of battery power I charged that up two days ago when I first installed it outside and as it stands right now I am still at 100% battery so when I said in the beginning of the video that you'd probably get a week's worth of you know usage out of it before you had to recharge it again now that's wrong depending on you know how often it's used you could get you know two weeks three weeks maybe a month before you'd have to recharge it again you know again that all depends on you know what you're recording it in is it 2k 1080p are you recording 10 second clips or are you recording 30 second clips that all makes a difference so I want to bring that up all the videos I watched said that it came with two mounting plates one for a direct straight mount that puts the camera straight out forward and one with like a 20 or 24 degree pitch so if you you wanted to mount the camera on the left side of the door as opposed to the right side of the door it would actually pitch the camera out and give you a better view angle of who is in front of the door or whatever this camera did not come with that okay so I wanted to mention that to you as well the low frame rate recording now I wish they would have kept it at 30 frames per second as opposed to 24 and I get why they didn't they're trying to save battery trying to save room on your memory card but that was just one thing I really, you know, I didn't like. I don't like recording in a film uh, frame rate. It's too jittery in my opinion, but it is what it is. I thought the video quality was pretty dang good. Uh, the audio wasn't too bad. You know, it is what it is. It's an outside sensor that's meant to be rained on and stuff, so you're not going to get the best audio out of it. Now, with that said, the things that I liked about it, it was easy to install very good instructions so kudos to XTU for that it was not missing anything for installation I mean they had everything you needed right down to the last single screw and drywall plug that you needed you know to mount this thing I mean everything that you needed they supplied I thought the build quality was pretty good it felt heavy it didn't feel like a piece of junk you know sometimes when you buy certain things you know they just feel so cheap you're worried that if, if you bump them they're gonna crack or break this has some heft to it it feels like a quality product I like the fact that you can use memory cards with it and it's not an internal memory system I like the fact that you could also connect to your own cloud storage if you want or you can get onto their cloud storage and you get a seven day free trial if you want to do that last but not least among all the other things I love the fact that it shoots in 2k you guys know me I'm a 4k guy but I've told you on a lot of videos in the past I love 2k it gives you all the quality of a 4k video with the smaller files and easier to edit files that you would get with 1080p so there's the good and the bad me being new to this product I actually think it's pretty cool the night vision even though I didn't put a video clip in here of it uh, was pretty good and again the only reason I didn't put any night video footage included with this video was uh, the, the night video footage that I took it just you know they were 10 second clips and I didn't realize that they were only 10 second clips at the time and they just didn't look right but trust me it looks really really good in night vision I like the fact that you can set it on automatic and it automatically switches to night vision mode or you can set it on daylight only or night vision only 
again bottom line this is a really nice camera the price of it isn't that bad you know compared to some of the other ones out on the market and the build quality in my opinion is pretty good so with that being said I just want to thank XTU for giving me the opportunity to review their products and to do it the way I like to do it. They did not give me any stipulations or marching orders, so to speak. They left me to do things the way that I like to do them. And that was just awesome. And, you know, I, I do appreciate that. So if you're watching XTU, thank you. I appreciate that. With that being said, I just want to thank each and every one of you out there. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share my videos. That helps to get these uh, spread out there and uh, to get my channel to grow a little bit. Also, don't forget, as soon as I hit 5,000 subs, I'm going to be giving my Canon T6i away to one of you. So, spread the word. So, again, with that said, I just want to thank each and every one of you. And I will see you all on the next one.